Aussie, Aussie. G'day kids, it's Aussie here. Today, I'm buzzing with excitement because we're going to learn all about Electricity Safety Week. Now, hands up if you know what electricity is. I reckon lots of you would know, or at least have heard of it. Well, it's everywhere and it's powerful. It's what gives us the energy to turn on our lights, our TVs, our games, our toasters, our device chargers, and even some cars. So, what is Electricity Safety Week? Well, it's a time to help kids just like you stay safe around electricity while still enjoying all the awesome things that it does for us. It's such an important topic where schools all over New South Wales and Queensland join in and with the help of our mates at Ausgrid, we learn all about the powerful subject of electricity. Now, electricity itself is invisible, but it's all around us. It might come from a big power station or from the sun with solar panels, but because we can't actually see it, we need to be clever about how we use it. Now, I want you to listen up closely so we can give you some tips to stay safe around electricity. There are six super important safety messages that we can all remember. Let's check them out together. Water and electricity don't mix. They are just not friends. Think of electricity as a speedy helper who just really doesn't like getting wet. So if you've been playing in the sprinkler or just hopped out of the pool or even the bath or the shower, make sure that you're completely dry before you touch anything that's plugged in, like a hairdryer or anything. Stay away from power equipment. Those big green boxes and those fenced off areas are like electricity's special meeting points. They're not playgrounds. So if a ball or a frisbee or something goes over the fence, just leave it there, tell a grown up, and then they can get Ausgrid to come and get it out safely for you. You have to be a little bit careful in storms. So if the sky is putting on a lightning show, electricity is having a bit of a party up there. And that means the safest place for you to be is inside where it's safe and warm until the storm moves on. Power lines. You know those tall poles that you see along the streets with the wires stretched between them? Well, they carry power all around our streets and towns. And sometimes in storms and accidents, they can fall over. And if this happens, it is super important that you keep at least eight meters away from fallen power lines. Now, eight meters, that's about the length of two big giraffes standing on top of each other. If you see a power line on the ground, just stay right away and get an adult to call for help. Switch off and unplug any appliances when you've finished using them. So when your toast is done cooking your toast or your charge is finished topping up your device, give it a little rest by switching it off at the wall and unplugging it, especially if it's anywhere near sinks or baths or any water. And if something does go wrong, you just need to get help. If you see something with electricity that's broken or sparking or just a bit weird, then step back. Tell an adult, and if it's an emergency, they can call triple zero. The most important thing is keeping you and everyone around you safe. So now that we know what to do to stay safe around electricity, why don't we quickly learn a little bit more about how electricity actually works? It's really super interesting. So have you ever wondered how electricity actually gets to your house or your school? Well, it might start at a power station zip through the towers and wires, take a pit stop at those big green boxes to get the right amount of energy, and then it speeds into your home or your school so you can play games, watch movies, or toast that bread nice and golden brown. Oh, and while we're talking about toast, it is probably a very good time to remind you that we never, ever stick anything, especially metal objects, inside a toaster, apart from bread, of course. Some electricity comes from the sun with solar panels or from the wind with turbines. They've even figured out how to power cars with electricity too. Geez, there's some clever people around. No matter how it's made, we always want to make sure we are staying safe around electricity. So Bright Sparks, now you know the six super important safety messages and how electricity gets into our homes and schools. 
most important thing to remember is always be smart and safe around electricity and keep being the bright sparks that you are. I hope you've enjoyed learning all about electricity. We'll see you on another brand new episode of Aussie this weekend. Until then, stay keen. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine.